Yeah, appreciate what you're doing, and uh, it's good. You know, organization is good in the kingdom. That's a kingdom thing, and uh, how you're sharing the literature with others, and you're able to to minister to so many different points at the country when people can go to these literature hubs and uh, and receive mm -hmm. that. That's 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 really a, that's really a great that's thing. Amazing. That's commendable. Thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know our our donors, our you know our staff. We're so appreciative that the literature that we're producing, that people are helping to, to give toward, uh, you know, and praying toward, um, they know that it's in good hands and in the hands of people who want others to, to know Jesus. Some people never even heard the name of Jesus or never really heard the gospel uh, to be able to, to do that and to know that people are working diligently on the other end and and it seems like can't get enough literature because they just they just mm -hmm. want to share and share and share and there is a scarcity of the the written word of god and people are very hungry for that we know that um, i do want to ask you before we close um and i just i'm just very interested in this as a peacemaker a bridge builder um mm -hmm. you know someone who is is a hero of mine don't necessarily agree with with uh you know him on everything doctrinally, but he's one of my uh, South African heroes, and that would be Archbishop mm. Desmond Tutu with, you know, mm. uh, truth and reconciliation <laughs> and mm. just that man's heart. I mean, what a what a beautiful heart. What a what a display of the forgive the love and forgiveness and compassion of Jesus. And uh, I just, you know, just tell us what you see. Uh, in South Africa's uh, future, what you're seeing now and what you see in the future and how uh, the love of Jesus can make it even a better place uh, to to live in. I think that uh, what, what you've just said now just brings me to the place where, where, where I remember in, in Cape Town. I remember you could go amongst, um, I, I do not speak Afrikaans uh, very well, so um, sometimes I would take the, the Way to God booklet and give the African person a way to God booklet in Africans. And I read from my English version and and I share with them from the Africans version. So I think I think when you were talking, it just came to me. You know, in South Africa, because of the uh, historical issues, um, the nation at some point was clearly divided amongst the, the racial lines. Uh, you know, you have got uh, four groups of people. You have got the uh, Indians. Uh, I think if you are reading, following, you would have uh, followed what happened in Phoenix, in Durban, and then um, you have got um, the white Africans, and then you have got the colored Africans, and then you have got um, obviously the other um, African, and then within those African tribes as well, Zulu, Tosa, you find that there are clear divisions as well. You know, one of, one of our um, volunteers who come, actually, there was a time, because he speaks Sisutu, Southern Sutu. And, you know, you print uh, literature in Southern Sutu as well. Mm -hmm. And and it moves quite well. And um, I should say, uh, I, I think 90% of the provinces in South Africa, it, it we distribute Southern Sutu. So, um, so he got to the taxi rank and he's speaking Sisutu to a Zulu man and then <laughs> because you know people take pride in their um, in their culture they want you to speak in their language mm -hmm. in, 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 so so he speaks in Sisutu and the guy in Zulu directs him to the wrong text simply because he's just not happy with the guy you know speaking Sisutu with him so that was a very light moment even when we talk about we laugh about it quite a lot you know so um, I should say um, as a prayer point um, we, we, we want to pray for the unity because I, I also, in my interactions in church mobilization, uh, there are certain places where you go and you have to call three meetings because, um, because people just don't mix. And that's a, that's a reality wow. that we face um, in, in South Africa. There are very few instances where you've got very little people, very few people coming together. But um, we, I see quite an improvement in terms of the, um, the growth of the uh, multicultural church. So, so I mean, you, you see that happening. But uh, I think just something to pray for, just for, for unity, for God's spirit to bring unity. You know, the diversity that we enjoy in South Africa must not be a point of, of division, but that mm -hmm. the diversity must be a point of bringing glory to God uh, and just celebrating his, um, his awesome power. 
um you know and um yeah so i think that would be my response to that to say it definitely what this montutu stood for like i said obviously theologically there, there's quite a huge divide mm -hmm. um but 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 i like the fact that you know he was a person that stood for reconciliation he was a person that stood for uh for human rights and and and, and all that so um um and and also freedom of religion as well he spoke quite well about that so so i i I do enjoy that in South Africa. And for me, I enjoy the differences, you know. Um, when when I meet people of a different culture, we meet together, we, we sit down and we are discussing and we are enjoying. So it's it's always a joy. It's always a joy, really. And and just to just something that I I I forgot to mention to you, you know, South Africa is becoming there's lots of gated communities now. It's not just the suburban areas. Mm -hmm. So even towards the locations um what you would call the high density areas you are also having gated areas as well flats and gated areas mm -hmm. and we you know the the modus operandi of everyone for christ was always to knock on every door and sometimes if people are in a complex you are greeted by the security guard you don't have access to people so mm -hmm. they, they again the printed word that the the, the literature that we get from WMP, you guys are so generous. Thank you so much. You know, I I, I don't hesitate to 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 place it in letter boxes because I know that I've got an abundance of supply. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't at the back of my mind, obviously, start counting in fear to say, oh, I'm gonna run out because you mm -hmm. give us in abundance. And thank you so much for that. So so in complexes and in gated communities, we use that strategy of dropping literature in the letter boxes. And then when people come to check their, their mail, they take the literature and some of them obviously engage with it. We obviously pray over it um, that the person will just develop at least even a twinkle interest. And I know that when once they do that, you know, the word of God is powerful, you know. Yes. So, yeah. Now, if you're listening to this in the United States, don't do this because it's a federal offense to put uh, <laughs> to put anything in, in anyone's mailbox. But thank the Lord you can do it there. Yeah. Just different. Uh, yeah. Different ways of doing things. But what, mm. I, what I'm hearing, Brother Haber, what, you, what, what I, I heard from the onset of our conversation is that you just love South Africa being so multicultural and being able to reach out to so many groups. And that it seems mm. like the Lord has brought the nations to you. And I believe that's the Lord's heart. That is really the, the Lord's heart, because I mean, I know I've seen it and, you know, way more than I do. I mean, apartheid might be over, but there's still the effects and uh, psychological tentacles that are still on the minds of mm. people a lot of times. And you can see mm. the disparity when I was in Cape Town, like you could, you could look at people, see which ones had certain jobs and how, you know, uh, the economic status and all that. So there's still, there's still the effects of it, but I believe that, you know, just, just pressing through in Christ, I believe love conquers all and just just mm -hmm. <laughs> so grateful for what the love of Jesus can do and for people like you with that heart that uh, of reconciliation and of seeing brothers and sisters of uh, different colors different you know nationalities uh, ethnicities uh, and and wanting to embrace them and share the love of Jesus with them and seeing as an opportunity not something that's uh, you know that's a horrible thing and you started that out from the onset and that's been a common thread throughout this conversation i believe uh, so deeply that that is uh, the heart of Jesus, of uh, love, of unity, yes. of forgiveness and compassion and uh, and <laughs> just, uh, yeah, just brotherhood, the brotherhood uh, and sisterhood mm -hmm. of humanity. And, and I, I see Jesus in you, brother, and I, I heard him talking through you, and I appreciate that. And the world needs more people like you. So, yeah, we need to be be praying for you and for your team and Thank you for your time. And is there anything you'd like to close with before uh, before we end the conversation? No, 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 not particularly. But but just thank you for the conversation. Um, you know, I I I like a, I love a good conversation. And when I talk about something as real as um, sharing our faith and and also you know sharing with the tools that actually practically mean something on the ground. So yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. And thank yeah. you. And please know, and this is really important this to anybody else who I interview 
Um, we're not just about the interviews. We're about relationships. So if anytime you want to pray together or talk on a personal level where things aren't being recorded, uh, I'm here for you and, uh, and love you. Appreciate Thanks. you, my dear brother. Okay. God bless. Uh, Thank you very much. So good being with you today to our viewers, listeners. We love you so much. God bless. We'll see you again soon.